Let's talk about first aid. Here's something I can't quite understand. People that are really into training in self-defense or martial arts or any sort of form of combat, you know, style, whatever it is, um, are really into that and a lot of these people are really good at it. And yet, uh, I find that a lot of them have no interest in learning self-defense. I'm like, why? I mean, you're learning self-defense, or let's just say you're like an American that uh, has the advantage of being able to train with firearms. Uh, the thing that they both have in common is that you're using, you know, these skills in order to protect yourself or to protect other people. And you think that first aid is not a viable option for protecting someone else? Honestly, the average civilian will find themselves in a lot more situations where they would need to use first aid to help, you know, save a life or, you know, protect someone than, uh, than any of your combat skills. And yeah, I know there's such a thing as, like, medical combat skills, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, outside of fighting or shooting someone. Uh, you know, myself personally, I remember there's been times where, like, uh, what was it, about four or so years ago, um, I was at a shopping center and there was a, a girl who was about nine or ten or something like that that um, had a seizure. Mother, who obviously wasn't trained in first aid, was completely freaking out and she didn't know what to do. And so me, being someone that didn't know what to do, I went over there and I did the stuff that you're supposed to do. Um, and then, you know, after about, I guess it felt like about maybe 30, 40 ish seconds, um, the seizure stopped, and then, you know, I told someone else as it was happening to, you know, call uh, an ambulance. The number's triple zero here in Australia, not triple O. I did another video explaining that. Uh, and so, you know, just lucky that I was there because, you know, the mother should have been the one that uh, had to learn first aid because if she was well versed in that, then she would have had the skills to be able to deal with that situation when it came about. Um, so if you're a parent, honestly, I think every parent on the planet should learn f uh, first aid. And I understand that, yes, sometimes you um, can't always afford the money to go and take a proper course, but there are videos on YouTube, there's even like books that you can buy for like 20 or something dollars Australian. I mean, even if it's $30, it's worth saving the life of someone. So, you know, go pick one up, one that's um, uh, like a relevant one. One that's 10 years old might be considered out of date by modern standards, so make sure you get one uh, that's recent. Uh, so anyway, this video was basically just for me to uh, express my confusion as to why some people will learn, you know, fighting skills and stuff like that to help themselves and other people, but not learn first aid. And also me to advocate that everyone should learn first aid. It's a viable skill to have in anyone's arsenal that's actually uh, passionate about saving other people, regardless of what method you want to uh, use to, uh, to do that. So sometimes, yeah, you need to fight in order to save someone or yourself. Other times you'll need to uh, administer some first aid or, you know, other medical mumbo-jumbo. So uh, no, I think that's about it. So, yeah, go learn some first aid. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, and stay safe.